Okay, hi, this is Steve from Ultraceps.com, uh, the developer of Ultraceps and Quickceps software. And here we have a graphic that i seen uh, separated uh, using CorelDRAW and some other software. And um, I felt compelled to separate this in Photoshop, the industry standard application, along with a mainstream product such as Ultraceps. Um, the video that I did see using uh, CorelDRAW, it seemed to me that it may be a little bit, bit misleading. Um, it seemed that the author needed to jump through many hoops and go through many steps and be held back by the limitations of CorelDRAW and its uh, prehistoric uh, raster features, which are basically equivalent to a 20-year-old copy of uh, Photoshop, if that. Um, it also took a long time to seem to get an acceptable uh, result, whereas something like Ultraceps can separate this art effectively within 15 or 20 seconds. So um, let's, uh, let's start our work on this file and see what we get. First thing we need to do is uh, to unflatten this file, because right now it's on a background layer. We'll double-click that, change it to layer 0, which uh, unflattens it. And now we're going to make use of an amazing tool that's not available in CorelDRAW to get rid of this background. Matter of fact, there's many amazing tools that are available in Photoshop uh, that are not available in any other uh, raster editing package. But the ones we're talking about here are the Magic Eraser tool and the Background Eraser tool. And to this day, I am simply amazed at how well these actually work. Uh, with this graphic, we're going to use the Magic Eraser tool, and we're going to set the tolerance here at 5, although with this file here, it could probably set to 10, 15, 20, and you'll get the same results. And we're just going to click once within the dark green area, and bam, it's gone. And if we zoom in, you can see that it's cleanly removed. That background is cleanly removed from the graphic with no other types of editing or manipulation or any sort of time uh, investment required. So now let's zoom out and uh, run a separation on this. Let's go to our actions palette and we're going to use a process called Ultracept Sim number two run. Ultracept has two simulated process separation modules in addition to doing every other form of separation uh, you could possibly imagine. Uh, but with this file, I feel sim number two will be the correct one. So let's click it now. And this will take about maybe 15 seconds on a relatively fast computer to complete. Okay, the initial separation is done. And now if we had some other colors in here like grays and magentas and flesh tones and things like that, we can simply run the add additional colors action. And that takes about another five seconds to run. And that gave us a gray, a brown, a magenta, and a flesh if we did need it, if the file did contain that data. So now let's take a look at the separation, okay? Let's turn on a shirt background. And let's turn on a white underbase. And we know we have yellow, so we'll turn on that channel. Uh, we'll turn on the green 354 channel. We'll use uh, one of our highlight whites. We have a choice between mute and dark highlight. And uh, we're just going to choose the uh, regular black, and uh, going back here, we'll select the red. And uh, as you can see, we have a perfect separation of this image, which took all of, what, 15, 20, 25 seconds. Um, some people may want to add the gray uh, to uh, get a little bit better rendering of this, uh, this water and so on and so forth. But you probably uh, won't need it if your customer isn't looking for utmost accuracy. And that's it, an accurate separation uh, within 15 or 20 seconds of a very, very difficult file to work with using uh, Photoshop version CS5 and Ultraceps color separation software. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video, and there'll be many, many more to come uh, which focus on the advanced features in Photoshop with the use of Ultraceps.